into their heads, like getting out of their comfort zones. But yeah, let's let's get some variety going. I know, I know. Yeah. So, mm. looks like they're still thinking it out, trying to yeah. decide how they want to approach this set. Yeah, just talking it out. Um, let's see. Our matches are going on right now. Let's check who else is still in bracket, still in the tournament. Apparently a bit of an upset earlier in Losers was E.T. took out Liberation. Interesting. I did not expect that to happen. 2-1 apparently. That's All right, moving in. Here it is again, Dancing Blade doing about 19% off of that conversion. It's a very scary option that Marth has, and very solid when used correctly. You know, long-ranged, transcendent priority, and uh, a good damage racker, too. Uh, if you don't have much Marth experience, it's a very solid mm -hmm. move to just to throw out. You can use in mid-air as you're falling down. Who catches good. the monkey flip with a tipper F smash. Terrifying option there. Yeah, well, very well played. Diddy Kong's forward smash cannot be properly spot dodged, to my knowledge, because of its double hit feature. Ooh, the uncharged shield breaker almost taking it out. He's got to be careful now. That was part of what happened at their first set together, was that Pi Hero was able to get a shield break. Yes. So, Ham obviously knowing the power of shield breaker at this point, so he's going to avoid Ooh. shield whenever he sees that charge up. That was excellent patience by Pi here to shield that banana and then read that he wasn't going in for the dash grab. Oh, Ooh. the barrels coming in from the ledge. The Good pumped. damage. Oh, Good banana to cover the tech roll option, but missing the punish from Ham. Oh. Good banana, and oh, that will take the counter. first stock of the game. Banana covering any options at oh. the ledge. Raid messing with that a little bit, but Monkey Flip improvising. Ooh. Good forward zone, just knocking Diddy away. Oh, Forward air. Uh, very he nice rec recovery. He recognizes that he wasn't have, gonna have time to go off. Ooh, and a oh. very good runoff. Forward air. Forward air. He's not gonna do it though. He will get back from that. I hear Lennon and Ham get back on. Basically, a tip from anything will probably kill. Yeah, right? multiple tilts. All smash up throws, got it. Yep, up throw will finish it off the stock at that high of a percent. So it's still a pretty even game. It's pretty well within his grasp. He just has to continue what he did at their first set. Yeah, he just and has try to try and avoid Diddy's early percent uh, combos, especially now that he's no longer in rage. They will link all the more reliably. Yeah, he just has to avoid any banana shenanigan shenanigans at this point. So we see a lot of mobility from him. He's sort of running back and forth across the stage, walling with forward air, always keeping the banana in play. Yeah, momentum with his side, Ooh, he's definitely feels like he's in cover. control of the match at this point. Good banana throw into a up throw up air combo. Has yet to take a percent on this second stock so far. Yeah. Marth Down with Rage though can out. be scary if he's oh, able he to regain stage to escape control. the ledge trap and does the first bit of percent of this stock. Ooh, Tip forward, forward smash. smash, big damage coming in. Oh, oh very smart, nice smart spot. spot dodge to avoid. Oh. He had bad memories of the first that they played together. Oh, that forward that smash will smash. do it. First game goes to Ham. Very well played from Ham. Very good game one. Solid play. Let's see if Pi Hero can make the adjustment and bring it back two games. But so Ham. as Marth against Diddy, I'm not entirely sure where I would want to take him actually. Um, um, I just go to a comfort pick stage for Marth, mm -hmm. probably just Battlefield, very good. Tilts, uh, Dreamland's a solid choice, also, same situation. Maybe um, even Town and City. Town and City would be pretty alright, you know, they, you just lost there, but it's still... Uh, it looks like it is indeed going to be Dreamland. Probably banned in Battlefield, so Dreamland, the next best choice. All right, we will see how he incorporates the, ba the platform layout into uh, his gameplay here. As we start off game two of the set. Game two. So far, pretty careful spacing from the two of them. Very safe play. Good up tilt. Getting a little damage in. Diddy throwing the banana down. Ooh. But Marv catching, catching Diddy the, uh, with the dancing blade. Oh. Banana, Banana hiding behind the flowers. He's not able to Ooh. see. Jab forward smash is a good frame trap that Marth has in his arsenal. 
It later percents it can even combo into a tipper forward smash if the opponent does not DI in time from jab one. Yes, I know I have fallen for that trap multiple times as I was first so learning to play against. A bit of platform Pi camping. Pi Hero is not going to stand on that ledge anytime soon. Never mind. Commentator's yeah. curse. Yeah, that's all right. He just tries to challenge the platform, but Ham punishing that challenge. But a forward smash will send oh. Ham back. Good reaction on the back air, realizing Monkey Flip was going over his head. Hmm. Oh. Trying to throw that shield breaker out, but okay. Ham punishing with a banana. Smart not to roll in towards the middle of the stage. Gets banana. rolled out with forward air, one of Diddy's better moves in his arsenal. Back throw not going to kill yet. Nope. Z oh. drops the banana color ledge options and punishes Marth. Dash attack actually manages to catch him. Swats him with forward tilt, but that refreshes monkey flip. Oh my and god, going what to a trade. trade! I think it was an up smash. A fresh start. Knocking Diddy Kong into the air, hitting and the barrels, barrels, and then the barrels hitting Mr. Pi Hero. What a trade. Glad that wasn't the second oh, stock. The last hit of Dancing Blade whiffs, missing out on some big damage opportunity from that. Uh, Makes it up for there. Oh, oh good shield the breaker. Flip, was not quite able to get over it. That was smart not to go for the final hit. Oh, Ooh, good. oh the down air reset. Oh, he misses it that time. Mm, I hear at the oh, ledge. The banana good ledge banana, banana get up coverage. Prep. Thrown banana oh, onto no. the stage, but barely misspaced it on stage to cover the roll. It could have been Mr. Wispy blowing the banana to the side, though. That's true. Gets an assist from Mother Nature itself. <laughs> that Ooh. shield pressure. He's, He's gotta be careful shield. now. He's gonna camp out a little bit with peanut pop gun. Run up, up smash after the banana conversion. There it is Still again. Living. Not gonna kill yet. A little stale, stale in. A little stale in. Uh, Diddy Kong's up throw. smash, while it's easy to Ooh. confirm into, is not very powerful without rage in play. Oh! The shield break, and that's going to do that it. That will be it. He shield clutches breaker, out. Number two, two in a set. Pipe Hero, obviously with the momentum from that. What an amazing shield breaker. It's such a scary option that you have to respect, especially from Marth, since his tipper effect strengthens it even further. Sometimes you just have to take it if your shield isn't at full power. Yeah, or it's risk to spot dodge. But. It's such a scary tool. I know I played him uh, last semester one one set. He was able to kill DDD with a shield breaker it tipper is at like thirty. It's one of the few it things is, Marth has gone for him. It's a scary move to have to deal with. Oh, the moment you see that charge in your face, you you wanna. It's it's pressureful. All right, we are back. Game three, Smashville. Pi Hero with the momentum. Let's see if Ham can win with this pattern pick of Smashville. Breaks out of the back air chain. Oh. Manages to catch it with the dancing or, uh, shield breaker. Yeah. Good shield pressure from Ham, but. Good patience waiting out the smash attack. Yeah, from good both punish. Of them. Good punish. Back air catches DDD. Oh. Or Diddy. <laughs> Not DDD. Oh. The neutral Reads air. the monkey flip with neutral air. Ooh. Oh. Has to be careful about that. That down, that down angled final hit from Dancing Blade does so much damage. Yeah, it's, it's a risky option to go for though, because if they, if you use it while they're popped up with good DI, then you'll, they'll fall out of it, and it's very easy to punish from that point out. Right, but if they do get it though, it does quite a bit of damage. Probably, I think the most damage out of all three options. I believe so. So yeah. we have a bit of platform camping while he allows his shield to regen, sort of uh, get stage control back. And that's going to be enough rage with Smashville's ceiling height to close the first stock. Banana 2, up smash will do a ton. So unless this is a best of 5, this is looking like Pi Hero's tournament stock. Forward air, getting the SWAT. Aw, uh, unfortunately Ham goes a little bit too low with his uh, rocket barrel charge. Yeah, that was a We are back situation. to a mostly even match. Alright, let's see if Pi Hero can bring him back, but Ham, Monkey obviously, flip. was something to show for his pride. Trying to regain it after that shield breaker. He doesn't want to lose after that. After twice in one tournament as well. Good Oop. banana toss, but. And there it is again. Big blade. damage coming through from Dancing Blade. Goes for jab one and two. It's a good choice. Nice and safe. Man on the ground. Oh, dash attack coming through. 
Oh, smart option to just run away from yeah, there. Just resend the neutral, but Ham just Ham was probably him. looking for a roll of some sort, so... Ooh, that was- that looked like an interesting reset type of scenario he was going for. I don't think he expected Dancing Blade to have that much end lag to it. Right. Uh, Some careful down tilt spacing. My hero. Diddy's down. That, that could be it. be it. That's gonna do it. That will do it. What a great set from both players. Alright, Ham will move on. Pi Hero's set. Very well played cut from. short. Very good play from both players. What an exciting match to watch. And now... So I think our next match is likely going to be 1N versus Sandbag. Yes. Which should be DDD versus Link, or potentially Palutena versus Link. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Did you play Sandbag earlier? I did. Uh, that is oh, who that was ended the Link up that eliminated you played? me from tournaments. Okay. I've yeah. not seen Sandbag play, so this will be interesting to watch. Mm. He's new to our region. He comes from the uh, Des Moines area. He's hoping to come to uh, more of these, so hopefully we'll see a good showing and he can come back again. Des Moines, very close, about half of an hour's drive away, so mm. very nice choice of, from him. We love seeing new faces oh, around yeah. here. It's been a great turnout today. Not very yet. good tournament. Good tournament to start off the semester. We're hoping to see some of these faces return in the yeah. next tournament. Hope the numbers keep up, too, because we were starting to dwindle a little bit on that last semester. We were yeah. getting down to, like, 25-ish entrance. But yeah, people just get busy during the yeah. semester, though. Espe especially during on. the ending parts of it. But uh. it's a fresh start, three-day weekend. Glad to see people come out. 